the 22LR Ruger LCP2 Part 2. Previously in Part 1 of the 22LR Ruger LCP2 video, we experienced several failures to feed and a weird live round stovepipe with Federal Punch. CCI Mini Mag ran perfect except for some light strike issues towards the end of the day. To solve the light strikes, I contacted Ruger for a new firing pin. And to improve cycling, I ordered a stiffer recoil spring from M Carbo. With the new parts in hand, I pulled the original firing pin and discovered that the replacement firing pin is the exact same length and bladed, not round as suggested by internet post. So it appears that the firing pin was not damaged, but I went ahead and installed the new one and while in there, cleaned and dry lubed the firing pin channel. During reassembly, I installed the M Carbo recoil spring, which is stiffer. This spring slightly impacts the light rack feature. In advance of range testing, my three LCP mags were disassembled, cleaned, and dry lubed with Sentry Tough Glide. On reassembly, make sure that the heel of the floor plate overlaps the mag body. Many people, meaning me for starters, fit the floor plate inside the body which will leave you with only nine rounds fitting that magazine. Speaking of magazines, over the past few weeks since part one, I experienced one accidental mag disengagement while pocket carrying in the Ruger soft holster. It was oil change day so I was on the ground a few times. A disengaged mag makes it really challenging to extract the LCP from your pocket. With a new recoil spring and firing pin, at the range I started with Federal Punch. Out of the first 50 round box I had one stove pipe and two failures to feed. Like the last time, the failures to feed were resolved with a tap on the slide. Three malfunctions in 50 rounds. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Switch to CCI Mini Mag for 100 rounds of flawless function. Then back to Federal Punch for another 150 rounds, this time with two failures to feed. Looking at slow-mo punch footage, there was one time where the ejected case was dancing right atop the slide, looking like it wanted to re-enter the ejection port and create a stovepipe. Finally, another 100 rounds of Mini Mag with only one issue. The slide locked back prematurely. Looking at the video, it didn't look like I inadvertently hit the slide stop, but I can't rule it out. Regardless, I don't think Mini Mag can be blamed for the slide stop stoppage. There were no light strikes or failure to fire malfunctions with either cartridge, and given that my micrometers could not detect any difference between the original and the new firing pin, I am left with suspecting that maybe there was something in the firing pin channel. So anyway, thanks Ruger for the spare firing pin. So whenever I carry the Ruger LCP, it will be sporting CCI Mini Mag. And Federal Punch is now 0 for 2 on the both of the platforms I've tried it. Anyone out there having good luck with Federal Punch? I have a significant stash. I may try it in the LCP again after a few thousand rounds. Or maybe I just need to buy a pistol that likes it. I bet it'd be perfect for a revolver like the LCR. At the range, I was sporting an aggressive concealment inside the waistband holster, which not only provides good coverage of the trigger, it also protects the magazine button. Nonetheless, the little LCP would benefit greatly from a paddle magazine release. I really hope Caltech releases a 10 round version of the P17. I really like the 22LR Ruger LCP2, but I think I'd like a Keltec P10 better.